Let's look at the Pac-12 really quick. Is there anybody other than Arizona, UCLA, or USC for you? Probably not. Probably not. So Arizona is minus 130. UCLA is plus 175. Uh, I will tell you one that I I put down just a little bit of coin on, and you're going to find this ridiculous. Uh, Arizona State is plus 10,000. Uh, they and Colorado, and, and of course Arizona, are the hottest teams in the Pac-12 right now. And it's it's really not close. Arizona State won seven of their last eight. They have played everybody tough, even the ones that they ended up losing to. Uh, Arizona State has been bad for pretty much the entire season. But if you look, they they are number three as far as advanced metrics since February the 6th. Now, that's behind UCLA and Arizona, but they have beaten UCLA already, and they played tight with Arizona just uh, about a week and a half ago. So, you know, the, the bracket doesn't exactly break out great for them. Uh, because Arizona State opens up with Stanford, who lost like five straight to end the season. Uh, but then they have to play Arizona, and they would likely have to play the number four seed Colorado, who has also been you know really good down the stretch. Uh, Colorado ended the year six and one in their last seven. So, you know, um, I mean Colorado at, at plus four thousand is not bad, and uh, in Arizona State at plus ten thousand, uh, you know, it might be worth dropping. You know, a couple bucks on. So plus ten thousand is pretty crazy odds for a team that uh, that came into this thing just red hot, right? Yeah, no, that's 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 a pretty good number. And yeah, I mean it's probably worth it. I mean, you know, the old you know Kevin from the office saying, if anybody ever gives you plus ten thousand odds, you just take it. Yeah, but especially I mean, this team won seven of their last eight, and and have looked yeah. good. Like, it, don't get me wrong, Arizona State uh, has been bad. Like for the majority of the season, right? Uh, their overall record is fourteen and sixteen, but I mean, you go on a streak there at the end. <laughs> I mean, they've got a win over UCLA. Um, we well, yeah, we've had teams that made the tournament doing this, just going, go getting hot and going on a run at the end. This yeah. happened in the past. It's oh, not, no, sir, not outside of the realm of possibility. So, no, you are not wrong. No, I don't like. I don't. I don't. I don't like anybody else in this conference. This is like the Big Twelve. Like, th- there's no interest here at all. I do not care. There's no, not a bet that I like. There's not a wager that I like or an odd that, that I think is any any leverage in at all. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.